Tonight, I wanna to talk to you about how to make a front brake cable guide. It's just a simple solution, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's gonna look like this when you're done. It's gonna be really great how the cable stays aligned in your bike. Here's what you're going to need. You're gonna need a spoke, just like this. Now, I would recommend you use a bicycle spoke. I'm using motorcycle spokes for this demonstration. They're a little on the thick side. A bicycle spoke would be better. Where you're going to begin is, you're gonna cut off the threaded end, and you're gonna mark it five inches up, and you're gonna cut off this end too. What you're gonna have after you do that is a rod that looks just like this. Previously, your spoke, it's gonna look just like this though. The next thing you wanna do is bend that into a horseshoe shape like this. There's a couple of ways to do that. You could put it around any object that's on your vise, maybe the handle, or you could take a bolt like this, attach it to your vise, clamp it down, and put it in there and bend it around it. The purpose of that is because you want a nice radius to go around there, so when your cable goes through there, you don't want it to pinch. The next thing you're going to do is put this piece in the vise, and I'm going to show you how to bend that. You want to have a couple of nice sharp edges on the top of the vise. You can do that with a soft jaw, or you can do what I did here and just cut two pieces of angle aluminum where the edges are nice and sharp. The important thing is that you keep it in there nice and straight. Clamp down on your vise gently with a hammer. You're going to tap down just like that. Take it out of the vise. And then you got the shape I showed you that was on the fork. Now you can cut these a little bit shorter to whatever dimension you like, depending on the clamp you have, or maybe you want them a little bit longer. Don't forget, you might want to file the ends. They might be a little sharp after you cut them. Well, that's our tip this week on the next time try this segment. You could connect it right to your lower fork leg like that. Use a nice thin clamp. Don't use a hose clamp. It'll turn out looking like a plumbing project when you're done. Then, in the end, you have a cable guide just like that. You're going to hold your cable in place, keep it out of your spokes, and protect the casing and everything else that goes along with that cable.